Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's Wednesday. We're here to play a variety of video games while we wait. Well, I mean, it, it, the, the shipment, uh, the, <laughs> we will not be able to smell video games until for another 12 hours or so, if I'm guessing. That's usually how deliveries work around this part. As I said on the podcast yesterday, it would definitely not be here in time for this stream. So I don't, I think there are people in chat that are like disappointed, but I feel like I said that about 20 times. Um, yeah, no, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll hook up the game sent when it arrives. Um, and see what the hell, I don't know. That's between, th between that and the Nintendo, uh, Yuzu lawsuit, <laughs> just like a, like video games. Just like, Oh God damn it, man. What are we doing? Um, there's a variety of video games uh, out here coming pretty soon. I was originally going to stream some Final Fantasy VII re Rebirth. Rebirth? Is that what they're calling it? Uh, but they have a bunch of restrictions on uh, what can be done with it and length of streams and all this other stuff. So, um, so not going to do that today. But uh, I don't know. We'll... I'll, I'll spend some time with that and, and see, see what that's all about, I guess. Um, I'm actually super excited about this thing because I'm not really sure. A, a couple of things, really. Today is John Cena Day in Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, so I, I'm curious to see what that all looks like. Um... I got an email saying that there, and, and indeed there is a patch that went out for Penny's big breakaway. And, um, and I got an email saying that that should fix the issue, um, that, uh, that we were running into the other day. So maybe I can see what the heck that game is. Um, and, uh, a couple of other things I don't, th but this, I want to get into this first. Let's, uh, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just do video games. Let's do video games. Uh, okay. Real curious about this thing. Not from a qualitative standpoint, because I'm sure it's fine, but I, I really... Like, is this game gonna hold up? Is this game gonna... This is a great goddamn video game. Oh. Oh. And so, I'm, I'm interested to... See this remaster that just came out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. In all of its midi glory. Midi midi glorian go <clears throat> Hello to all my midi glorians out there. If you are a lover Just gonna keep banging on this until until the joke solidifies. Glorious MIDI, if you, if you are a glorious and you like MIDI, then that might be, you, you, then you, then you might be a... Let me get my MT32 Pi out here and plug it in. Maybe we can make this better. What's up everybody, I'm Kyle. Ready to, uh, ready to shoot some stormtroopers. I 
remaster, not remastered. It's a weird. It's weird. Can I? And we're gonna let's let's play the let's play the game. If we if it'll let if it'll. Okay. Can we? Yeah. Okay. Some visual effects here. Let's. What what do we got? Whoa. Yeah, we want all that. How to end the mission. I guess that's fine. I, uh... Ah! I have a, a new... I, I, I have a smaller keyboard here, and I'm already, like, bumping keys on it. It's very, very stupid. Uh... What kind of graphics y'all got? Y'all got graphics? Yeah, I want to. I want to bloom it up. Restricts flashing to the borders of the screen. No, that's that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Two hundred. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. All right. These, this UI is uh, hilarious. It is so large. Okay, I was uh, curious. If, I mean, yeah, I assume that they were putting controller support in this because I'm, I'm guessing they're selling it on consoles. Click the left stick and it just turns auto run on. What a weird. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. We got a little, uh, a little, uh, weapon wheel here. What does that, what does that look like here? If we, okay, yeah, I mean. Okay, we got crouch on L1. Running at these motherfuckers full speed. Ah. Uh, what was the? There was a button I was turning on. I, there was a headlight button that I was there. It's a square button. I don't know why. Music is a little much, to be honest. This is the one we went in already, right? Or is this the, there was a different. No. Yeah. Whoops. Ah! Yeah, like I, I, you know, I vaguely remember these maps and stuff, but I don't, I don't have like a, an exact recollection of them or anything crazy like that. All right, so we came out of here. And then what did we do? We ran in circles.
Would there be another way through this way that I missed? Or does this just go around here? The music sounds weird to me. I, yeah, I don't know. It's It's like... I mean, also, I would have heard it this way when I played the game originally, for sure. Oh, hey, you know, also... I might have uh, reversed those, to be honest. There we go. It's hard, you know, sometimes uh, when they adapt these old shooters to console controllers, like the buttons feel like it, it, the, the, the control, the console, like the, the uh, controller stuff feels very strange. Um, and so, and, and a little bit, and sometimes it'll just be non-standard enough because of... Uh, you know, the different functionality they need to map onto a controller that, like, Circle opens doors in this game. And I'm like, that's not what you use to open doors in shooters. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, all right, now I'm, like, officially lost. I'm, like, actually, like, I don't, I don't know where the fuck we're going. Um, looks like there's some stuff over there. some stuff up there the music is slightly off yeah that that makes sense I you know it's like it can be hard to there was nothing else in here right we we went everywhere we needed to go wherever we could go rather I don't need to hit anything here okay There's nowhere to go here. And there was no door or anything over here. Use the force. Hey man, spoilers. Oops, stupid. God damn it. Nothing else up here. This just drops down into that area. Is there anything back in here? thing about having like good right stick controls in this in this particular game is that it leads to you wanting the guns to be accurate in a way that they were never meant to be Standing around in here? Hey, what's up? Oh, 
This looks ominous. I don't know. Probably nothing. This is too easy. Now to get to my ship. Good. Yep, alright, you. Look at that spaceship! Look at how crazy this looks. Video games have never looked better, spaceships have never flown Kyle more realistically. The plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. Uh-oh. The Emperor has approved your test demonstration, General Mock. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's war will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. I love the glory and beauty of decisive victory. It's one of my favorite things. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. Especially where MIDI is involved. A MIDI glory... Gl the glorious MIDI... Gotta figure this out. Yeah, it seems like they could have uh, maybe done a little more on the, oh, whatever. Like the the audio being the original uh, quality from the original game is kind of, uh, I don't know. They maybe could have tried to up res that. They could have, uh, there's tools they could have employed there to try to make it happen, but uh, those tools are not always great, so. Or they could have, if they could have found access, gotten access to the original recordings. But maybe that stuff's just gone. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Meanwhile, space. Does it support the graphics gamepad? I remember it. I remember that being Thank a yes, Commander, but also because you shortly. occasionally needed to look up the and down, that was a really crummy way to play it. Of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. This is Tech Base to anybody out there. Please, we're under Imperial attack. There were no reason there was no warning at all. Total devastation. They broke through our shield. They broke through our shield! Well, that seems bad. Hmm. Tech base was destroyed within minutes. Tech Many base? People in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that oh, sorry, we have the sad, the sad music now. The destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This Interesting. Like a normal well, these people are dead, huh? Interesting. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes What's to... What's under that robe, time. classified? He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new stormtrooper that can take out a rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. <laughs> the I'm kidding. I'm uh, not, <clears throat> not really into these jokes around here. Huh? You to find out if there is a threat and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. I don't know. That guy's beard is pretty good. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. 
Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. The what? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Weird hippie talk. Yeah. Yeah, the Force. Yeah, may the Force be with him. <clears throat> okay. All right. Good job on Operation Skyhook. in a little hole here just hanging out just going doopy doo somebody's gonna walk by one of these days and i'm gonna get him oh what are you doing up here dude Seriously, what? Oh, they're breakdancing. Okay, I can see why you were so mesmerized. We're doing a backspin! Okay, wait a minute now. So we went in here and there was that guy. And I mean, is there another? I feel like I've seen everything there is to see. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. No, this is just uh, another way down to the weird bodies. Oh, that's right. We, I mean, this is the way we came up. So that's the this way. Hi. Oh, oh. No, this is just never going to happen, huh? The crosshair is more of a concept of a, a theory than, than anything else. Okay, got that guy. Just, just squeeze him off slow. That was intense. There he is. Stop him. Dark forces. How about dark hallways? Am I right? What are they, this, guys, you should clean up down here. Is this just, is, there's nothing, this is just, no, go away. Uh, uh. No, not a, not a, okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Uh, all right, well, let's, uh... Oh, maybe I just need to jump over the side, huh? I wonder if I can do that. Up here, and then what were we doing? We were going over here, and then... Okay, no. Oh, cannot jump that. I guess it makes sense. That said, it seems like a, this. It seems like this door should open. I don't know. No, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You run at it hard enough, it'll eventually let you do it. Probably need a blue key for that door. I'm guessing, huh? All right. Well, we're over the wall.
Get so many energy units. Oh, hi. These levels are really interesting. I, I you know, when I, when I think about games of this era, you just think more about corridors, right? You think about... And I always remembered liking this game, but you know, over the years, you kind of forget the specifics, right? And so it comes down to, I remember liking this game, why? Like, because this gun looks sick and the head bob is good. <laughs> um... But, like, this level design is... It's interesting. Like, they're trying to... It's like they're kind of trying to do it as if... What if this was a real place? In a... In a sense, you know? I... You guys really just... Eventually, just gonna have to jump into that water. I assume it doesn't damage us, but hey, you never know. All right, we came all the way over here. There was nothing, unless these do something, but they don't. Let's go over here to this side. Look at that! Look at that! up buildings do we have here? Weapon supercharge. Get the fuck. Behind the counter, what do we got back here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, now we've gone and done it. Hello, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, was this a problem in the original game? Because I can't... You know, I can crouch, but I can't swim down. Now we're gaming. Oh, well, alright. I was somehow able to jump past that. And then I mean, hopefully we can just go through here. Or uh, maybe not. Cool. Oh, and now I can't... Um, I can't go back. 
either. Oh, uh, maybe if I jump my way out? Some guy hopping in the water just showed up and smoked everybody. Okay. <laughs> Turn off auto run next time when we remember where the hell that was. Okay, it was through here, through this dark area. We jumped out here. And then we went over here. And now we need to go here and push this. So, like, if all this did is make that spin forever, then am I still supposed to just... Go this way? Looks like if I measure that out a little bit more, he gets a much uh, better forward leap. Instead of just mashing it, so. You're not in this area. Oh, I'm just swimming, bro. Someone else. Oh, hi. Hi. I hear you have dark troopers. You just need to Axel Foley this shit and just be a little smoother. It's like, yeah, someone took a shit in the pool. I'm here to clean it. All right, this doesn't look like uh, there's any way up here. So we'll go here. Maybe starting that motor uh, opened some other stuff. Perhaps not. There's nothing here, right? Yeah, there's no... No button, no... Here, I can... We got an extra life. And now I can open those doors. Or maybe I'll... Well, I... That's weird. Uh, okay, there wasn't really anything else over here, so... Now it's light, it's bright in here. That's fun. Okay, so presumably uh, turning that thing on has turned on some power somewhere. And now we can, now there's gotta be somewhere else we can go. 
Let's just double check and make sure it didn't open up like this area somehow. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've played this, for sure. And this level design is, uh... It's interesting. Like I said, it's, there's something... When we think about games from this era, you think way more about... Corridor shooting and such. And less about, uh... This more kind of wide-open style uh well there's probably some way for me to get across this there's got to be something a button or something somewhere but oh here we go look at that Nice out here. Got a little field. Like a putting green. Got this sweet hole in the wall. Let's go check out that hole in the wall before we go this way. Alright, yep, there's just some stuff in here from the looks of it. Oh, wait, eh, eh. guys in here. Okay. Seriously though, you got all these like droids and all this stuff hanging out that are like just that are there to clean things up. Like why are there so many just dead bodies? Is this the base where the dark trooper came and killed everybody and they're just holed up in here now? And these are all just like, there's just a lot of, it's just a lot of dead guys everywhere, guys. Equip the Dark Trooper weapon. Get back, you say. I can do that. Oh, 
Well, guess I gotta jump through this window. Uh, hit that. I go back this way. This is where we came in, right? So. Too large for a human being to use. The infamous Moff Rebus. <laughs> Look at his sunglasses. You know he's a bad dude. Moff Rebus. Fucking Star Wars, dude. It's so bad. It's so dumb. back where we started so and i guess now we go here and uh oh excuse me are you moth rebus looking for a moth rebus yeah i bet you are I want an upgraded headlamp. Fun. 
Okay, so we came out of there, and then this is closed. Uh, right? There's no... Oh, okay. Easy enough. I'm sure that noise means everything's good. Oh, God, we're getting shot out of the... Oh, jeez. I can still jump back. going this way instead. Maybe it'll be more fun. Goopy, goopy. That's a, that's a Star Wars. That's one of those famous Star Wars lines. And get in the trash compactor and Luther Skywalker looks at uh, Han Solo and he's all oopy goopy. All right, we're back here. So I guess let's try door number three. We're hitting switches, man. We're making things happen. Are they good things? I, you know... There a I was like, which one of these textures is the fucking door? <laughs> All right, so now we'll uh, we'll go up here and then we'll try the fourth door, I guess. And then maybe play something else. <laughs> I will say, we're hauling ass. side, right? Okay. All right. We'll go down here. Sure. This is we just just let us back here. Let's just let us back here. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a switch somewhere.
Is there no, there's, is it just, is it auto saving? What, what are we? I expected to see some save options here. Yeah, I guess maybe would I have to start the level over again? That's fine. We'll live. Um, that's neat. I don't know. 30 bucks. Right? Is that, is that the... Let's double check. Yeah, 30 bucks. Uh, you know, that's, good. that's a price tag that's going to hit different people different ways. Mm. I do think it's funny that they just call it Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. That sounds more like an internal name and not a full name that would make it onto a logo. Which is dumb, because it should just be remastered. I feel like that would... That would solve the problem, but calling it Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. Like, what is it? Oh, it's the Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster. Oh, cool. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, it gets the point across. Maybe that doesn't matter at all. Um, but yeah, 30 bucks. I don't know. That's, you can kind of use your, use your judgment there. For 35 bucks, you could be playing Last Epoch. Which, eh. <laughs> well, let's fire that up. Let's take a look at that. I was talking about that on the podcast. This game has something. Uh, but I'm, I'm having trouble. It, it, it's not, it's not grabbing me. Like I'm, I'm. It's like, it has all the bits and pieces. of a of an action RPG um but it's just kind of I don't know like the I I there there's stuff about the the inventory and item comparison and a lot of stuff like that that feels very undercooked um And it feels like it has left me in a strange... Okay, I think we go this way, right? I... Yeah, it, it warped me back to a weird, uh, like the, the entry point of the town. And I thought I went into this zone before I stopped playing last time. We can spin. That seems like a pretty important... I can throw hammers, which is fun. Hammers seem like they do a, a bit of like a, quite a bit of damage.
Yeah, there's there's aspects of the the controller support that feel a little rough. Uh, okay, that's less armor than I have sixty. It says plus, but it's like it's there's there's no base stat for the the item. So you're kind of like, wait, this is just do twenty three overall or. So that does plus 10, and then the other one does plus 13. So we're sticking with the club that does plus 13. Uh, it stopped letting me move there for a moment. Feels like I should probably be putting more points into this hammer when I get the chance because it seems good already. Assassin's Hide Gloves of Regrowth, Marauder's Gladius. Now we're in business. Okay, what? Switching back to mouse and keyboard to. Uh... Okay, so that's better health regen, better crit chance, same armor. Can't just right click to equip. I gotta drag it up, huh? And then I gotta took take the other item back. This, like now it's like right click to equip, but like that's there. Weird. Now we're talking. Now we're getting gear, baby. Set my controller down so I can more easily compare here. Dodge rating. Physical resistance, but we get more health regen. Plus three spell damage, minus three spell mana cost. I, no, I guess I guess not. I guess I don't want that, right? Right? Uh, yeah, but I'm finding the inventory stuff and the item comparison, like the... To just be, like, it, it could be better. That's probably my main thing with it now. That and I just, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm not really finding the action. A 
especially compelling and, and kind of looking at the skill trees to kind of figure out like, okay, where does this go? What am I, you know, what might an, uh, a later game character look like? People, it sounds like some people that are sticking with it are liking the end game for whatever that's worth. Um, But in a lot of ways, it feels kind of like, oh, action RPG. Yeah, we can make one of those. And then they did. And it's certainly acceptable. But I, I just like having trouble feeling like it has an identity of its own right now. I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find a reason to, like, play it, I guess, is what I would say. Um... I thought I equipped these. No, what? I don't want to link it in chat. God damn it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, chat. Nope. Ugh. What does this do if I've got a wand equipped? I, I guess I haven't actually tried it, but it just says, since it says plus three, like I'm guessing these items don't have like a base damage, like plus three is all it is. It's like, oh, it's three, it, it does three spell damage. Like, okay. Um, But the other one does like 10 melee damage, so this is probably a bad choice for me, I'm assuming. Also, since I'm not a spellcaster, I'm guessing that this idea that things cost less... Mana doesn't really apply either. So I'm probably still better going with that. Well, this sells for seven, which is, you know, not always a great indicator of like an items. Uh, okay. Better health regen. We'll put that on. And we'll move this over here. Move these boots here. Okay. Was there something else I wanted to do here? Um, so we have kind of our overall character sheet here. Uh, then there's also... As you level up, you get passive points to spend in these different things, and then... Eventually, you can choose one of these three. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Um, below Sentinel here on the left, there are three different kind of subclass things that you'll, I think, believe you'll be able to just. I believe you just choose one, but it may be that you can only master one, and, but you can put points in all three. I'm not actually sure because I'm not there yet. But uh, and then there's just straight up skills, so we can kind of take. 
one of our individual abilities, slot it up here, and then it gets its own skill tree of its own. Oh, we've got some points to spend here. While spinning, you have better block chance. More damage, doubled with two-handed weapon, doubled while dual wielding. Well, bigger area, increased movement speed, uh, less mana per second. You can spin longer. That seems good. Shred armor. Sounds interesting. Additional melee void damage, which I, okay. Reckless spin. Um, shredding armor. I love to shred. So yeah, like it, it feels like it's got like trees on trees on trees, but not in a like, like, you know, Path of Exile wild kind of way, right? Um, Kill these fuckers. Here's the... That's right. I died here. Just keep sticking them. That felt like my health did not necessarily. That felt like my health just vanished there. Like I, I, maybe I. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi. Is that oh, you're with this guy, huh? Oh, well, he's still damaged. This is okay. I guess don't get hit by the fucking meteors is the lesson here, huh? Sentinel Relic, plus 16% chance to ignite on hit. We love to ignite on hit. Let me put on my boots of life. Plus 11 melee damage. 11 is higher than 10. Fuck 10. What's 10? Get that Sean Spears shit out of here.
Find Keeper Vault. All right. I should probably, I mean... I guess I should go back and... Empty my inventory because it's full of shit. All right, if I were a store, where would I hide? Are you a store? Hello, nope. You're the respec guy. Are you a, st you look like a store. Nope. Oh, you are a store. Oh, I have to shift click to sell because just right clicking equips it. That's a, yeah, you know, like I said, it just feels like there's stuff about this that uh, could be someone saying, don't pick up trash. It sells for, for little money for that reason. Just drop useless items. Look, man. If you're telling me that this loot game has really shitty loot, then you might as well just be telling me to turn it off. And once you level up, yeah, you, I'm sure you set the loot filter and, and just never see that shit, but like... Oh, hello. Okay, find the storerooms. Looks like it's over there. Looks like one of them's over there. Ah, oh. It's a good thing to say to someone as they're dying. Stand down or die. Like, oh, oh, you, oh, you're, you're dead. Okay, you're dead. All right. Well, you're dead. So, you know, well, in theory, in theory, you could have stood down there and, uh, you know, that would have been, oh, those things will seem like they might would explode. Oh. An attunement shard. Oh, if I just had a dedicated inventory button, you know? Increased melee attack speed, increased throwing attack speed. That seems like it's better. Oh, do I got it? Wait. Okay. Fine. No, no, no. Adds plus X strength. Press F to open the crafting panel. Okay, so these are gems. That I can slot into stuff, I guess. Plus 13 melee damage. We're taking this plus 11. Plus 16, but it's a two-hander, so we would lose all this block chance. Let's not do that for now. Transfer materials, what does that do? Oh, we've gone, we've done gone and sent our shards to the forge. It lit up. I felt like I should hit it. Um, oh, well. You have no shards. Can I still use them if they're here or do I have to... Go back to town to use them there. I don't know. Anyway. I 
I can still use them? Okay. All right. Uh, well, it doesn't look like I have anything to use either way. These are all zeros. It's just a bunch of zeros. It's a fat bunch of zeros. Prefixes, suffixes. Okay, well, that, all right. Well, maybe that's something we'll be able to, oh God. I don't know, really silly screams in this game. I don't know why that's like jumping out at me. Plenty of games have silly screams. RPGs got just gauntlet clones. I uh, no no right. I mean gauntlet. Is, it, it, okay. Now that we're putting more and more direct control and controller support into these games, I might say that like. That comparison is becoming a little bit more like appropriate. Um, I guess think about it this way. If you were going to make a new gauntlet game and they have one of the first thoughts you would probably have is along the lines of like, oh, you could kind of make it like a Diablo thing. You could make it a loot game. You could make it a, like, what if we took, uh, uh, what, EverQuest Online Adventures? Or no, not Niku. Uh, if we took, um, I guess Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance works as well. What if we took th those games and, and made that a gauntlet game? And then there was that last gauntlet game that came out on, I guess that was PS4 era. And it was, it was not good. Like it, it didn't, it was so it, like, it kind of, it wasn't a loot game uh, per se. And it wasn't really a pure rogue light either. And so like, I, it just felt trapped in this limbo of like, what is this game supposed to be? It doesn't really feel like a classic gauntlet game. It doesn't feel enough like a loot game. It doesn't feel enough like a, like a, whether it's a roguelite or whether it's an action RPG, it doesn't go far enough in any of those directions. And so it just feels like this really, like that, that last gauntlet game, uh, was it just felt very lifeless. Uh, or, or I suppose like pointless is maybe the, the better word, like, like, like the um, perhaps aimless. It was something less. Uh, but I, for some reason, I, I go back to that gauntlet game. Like, or I, I did go back to that gauntlet game sometime last year, just out of curiosity. And I was like, oh, this is still, you know, for 25 melee damage and increased damage over time, I will perhaps go with a two-hander at least for a little bit here I think if you you know an action rogue 
light might be a better uh, starting point for Gauntlet, I guess. Like, perhaps a, a run-based sort of thing might just make more sense, but that's sort of what that last one was kind of trying to be. I, I don't know, man. Gauntlet is such a weird, specific thing that uh, I think you see shades of it in a lot of games that came later. But in like in indirect ways, like it doesn't necessarily feel like, oh, they're trying to make a new gauntlet. It's it's like, oh, this has some shared DNA somewhere along the lines with gauntlet. I... Yeah, gauntlet uh, was it gauntlet, gauntlet legends, gauntlet legacy, gauntlet dark legacy. So there was gauntlet legends and then the, the add on. Like, there was an add-on for the arcade game that was, like, almost like DLC. It was, like, a tournament edition type of upgrade of just, like, here's some more stuff. And that was Dark Legacy. You could play as Pojo, the chicken. And that was on, like, what, N64 and... I guess PS1. Maybe Dreamcast? Enter the Shard Chamber. Still the best Wu-Tang album. Stand down or die. That guy could spin too. Okay, I got right. Okay, we've got points to spend. Can I spend them on these two? Requires twenty points in the Sentinel base passives. And completion of the end of chapter two. Okay. Well, let's, uh, okay. Some more melee damage and stun chance. Just some straight up more strength. We can hold alt for... Strength increases armor. And there are some skills that scale with, with strength. So, there's that. We've unlocked Rebuke. Better block effectiveness and chance. That might be good with, uh, you know, if I'm going to go two-handed, having that might be good. To kind of offset that, I guess. When you were hit, you have a chance to counterattack. 6% chance when hit. Eh. Increased damage and stun avoidance. That's 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 all right. Armor and damage mitigation from close enemies. Oh, fuck it. Let's throw it into this. And uh, and one into that. I don't know. The sort of thing where you just throw points into stuff and go, ah, eh, whatever. If I care about this game enough later, then I'll just respec then. This way. But I guess like my thing with this game, um You're here to help. You're it just uh, yeah, there's something about the uh, an identity or lack thereof when it comes to this game that is just it's just a weird I don't know. Like, I am not into the vibe of it, per se. I'm not into the, the enemy design. Like, it looks nice. It looks nice enough. It just feels uh, kind of generic, I guess, is what I would say. That's why, that's when I, when I say this game has, like, published by Amazon Games Energy, that's what I mean. Is it just has this, like,
mildly lifeless feel to it. Um, feels like a free-to-play game, but it's not. And I haven't even looked at the cosmetics store yet. Yeah, Crouching Medium says, I don't even know what I want from an ARPG anymore. They all feel weird now. I'm, I'm kind of with you. Like, I... I I don't know, man. I, I I want them to fix Diablo Four. <laughs> is what I is what I what I think I, I actually really want is I want Diablo Four to be better and have more content in it and. You know, not the just the seasonal kind of grind. Out here, it isn't safe. We'll reconvene outside. That should hold them. We've reinforced our wall. The howling monster says so. Lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have everything under control. What do you mean? I'm protecting the epoch, of course. Here. Yeah. It's a fortress meant to keep Yes, Marvel Heroes Remaster. That's the game we all need. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first and then I'll explain more. Ah, Marvel Heroes was good. hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is Stop talking, man. Okay, so we can just do that and not have to think about those. We can just okay, that stuff's in the forge and uh 16 dodge rating 22% increased health regen sounds pretty good. I'll take that over the 22 or the 25, I guess. This game doesn't have a mark as junk system from the looks of things as well, which, you know. 9% increased minion damage. Look, man, if I'm, if I accidentally picked a pet class, you let me know and I'll just fucking re-roll right now. The keepers, the second, the third shot is always. Oh, look at you guys. It uses multiple vaults. Only we possess the knowledge to open them. This is why we never call a single place. These abilities, these these first handful of abilities you get with this class seem like interesting enough. You know, as a as a chronic spinner in the last couple of Diablo games, this like choosing this class was the easy choice for me. I'm just like, yes, okay. He does the he does the okay, yes. Give me the spin man. So now we can throw another skill into a specialization slot and put points into that skill if we so desire. Yeah, someone someone said like, "Oh, what if there was X Men Legends three, but good?" Like, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Pretty, oh, okay, it's a sh it's a shrine. Um. But I think it's got to be a balance, right? You know, like like 
it's kind of become the go-to thing to say about Path of Exile, right? But like the the skill trees in those games do seem daunting. And then when you read up on it and people say like, oh, don't, you know, people try to, to wave that away and say, don't worry about the skill tree. You're just going to look online for a blueprint of like exactly how to play that class. And you're just going to do that. And you're like, I, oh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't want to do that <laughs> either. That's, that doesn't sound fun. Like, uh, like, that's not why I play these either. Like, I, I you know, I, I, I rarely play these games in ways that are going to be like optimal, right? I'm just like, oh, I've got the classic. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to fuck around and go like, oh, this sounds interesting. This sounds interesting. And maybe at some point I'll respec if it feels like I've gotten too far off of like what, you know, uh, what that class could be good at or something, but like, I want to dabble, right? I want to pick a class that's got fun abilities and then I want to go, oh, maybe this works. Maybe this works and find things that I enjoy using. Um, fun abilities that combo together and are they the best combo? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Eh. I think games need a variety, right? They need a, a variety of builds in order to make it. Well, maybe not to make it, you know, but they are best when they have a good variety, I think. I don't think that's controversial to say. Um, I think it's part of why I liked Diablo 3 more than 4 in a lot of ways, you know, the character variety or just like, you know, the, the way that you built a character in that game just felt, I don't know, a little, uh, more intriguing. I like this hammer. Okay, so the individual abilities level up, and so I guess, I'm guessing, I'm guessing if I spend a point here, hammers travel faster, that seems all right. More hammers, that sounds all right. Hammer throw hits, deal more damage. Okay, better hammers. Do we want faster hammers, more hammers, or better hammers? Increased stun chance sounds good. 5% is not a high number. But it's more. We still have a point to spend over here on this. What do we... Bigger area. Bigger whirlwind of murder. And that's what I'm looking for. I will say just as like a point of comparison. I, I, I think I like the idea. Just the concept of the... Um, of the way Diablo does it. Where you are building up rage. And then spinning it out. Obviously, the different character classes build meter differently in Diablo, but like I thought that was kind of a cool way to manage it. Um, I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Who do the keepers? It Hang on, let me read this stuff over here. Good. No. Oh, good God, man. Oh, that... Hey, that's my old man. I... I need that old man. Did you see that shit? They stole my old man. Buddy. I thought that guy said... I thought this lady said balls at first. I was like, balls? What just happened? And now it just wants me to return to camp. But instead, we're going to go this way and see what there is over here. If there's stuff to murder or not. It's a box. 
Ah, see? My persistence has paid off. With a box. Plus 16 melee. Okay, we're rocking 25 now, so. This is more armor, but this has f uh, physical and fire resistance. How does that net out? I don't know. I'm sure there's a math equation we could probably do to figure out if that was uh, the best way to go or not. But instead, we're just going to go, eh, eh. Uh, Okay, let's... Uh... What do we need more of? What do I feel like I'm not... I feel like I'm just not doing enough damage, honestly. Like, overall, I feel like it just damage. Destruction, terror, and mayhem. Keeper's camp, not nearly as cool as Whoopi camp, but what are you going to do? If Whoopi camp got back together and made an action RPG, then you would, then you would see some shit. Is this game any good? Yeah, I, I don't know. This game seems all right. Everything okay? Um. What happened? That must be Orion. If he captured Balthus... An Osprey's general. What happened to the artifacts Balthus was protecting? That must be what they. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm having trouble getting into it, but it's all right. Him and the epoch back. Their camp is not far. I have to order. Are you sure? I could gather soldiers. You'll walk into an entire. Stay safe. Stay alive. And bring Balthus back. Passive point. Like I said. Damage. Uh, and we probably need to go sell shit again, huh? Is this any any of this worth a shit? No, 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 no. Looking like no. I cannot do that. Oh, we did get some new rings. 6% increased movement speed, but this one is 7. I'm a fool. Wait, why didn't... We'll keep the shield in case we find a one-handed weapon. We'll keep the health regen. Whatever. Nine more things will drop out of the next fucking guy and we'll do this all over again. Right. Right. Blessing. Prayers be with you. Uh, enter the Highlands. That's that door up there. So someone uh, here says, uh, Bench says, gold isn't really an issue in this game, so you don't really need to pick up and sell everything. It's one aspect I like. Okay, think about it this way, though. Why have that shit in the game in the first place? If you've got a bunch of, like, low-tier loot that, like, is not going to serve any purpose because it's not a meaningful amount of gold... 
And if it's about breaking it all down, then just why not have enemies drop the fucking materials instead of the fucking, you know, it's, it's like it's it's like weird busy work like that that I wish that you could just not have to think of me like, oh, okay, let, let's just like cut out a step. If you need to search for the affixes that you need, uh, yeah, that's uh... I did not expect that. Some kind of axe of glory that sounds all right. Protective Bullroth of Shadows. You said it. All right, let's, uh, looks like we have enough distance there to maybe look at some of this shit. Well, that's a fat shield. Plus 23, but melee void damage. Plus 10 health on kill, that sounds fun. Heretical script of regrowth. Increased armor and void resistance. Am I igniting anything on hit? I'm not really noticing that, but I don't know. This, this sounds okay. Let's go with that. This shield looks fun. As fun as a shield can look, I suppose. Scepters. Ten percent armor, seven void, so that's less than okay. Got a pickaxe. It's one handed, does eighteen, and a bunch of other cool shit, and I could also equip that shield. Plus two health on hit, plus four on kill. I'm a survivability uh uh guy. I feel like if you're putting stuff out there that is gonna give me health on hit and you know make me have to heal less and that sort of stuff i'm usually gonna bias in favor of that type of gear i think that's just you know a long history of uh bad healers or no healers in a party of just going like, oh, I should probably fend for myself. All right. Let's kill a few more things and then we'll spend some more time in the menus.
this spin felt pretty weak uh, when you first you get it at, like level one or two or like you get it really early on. Or at least that was the thing I got really early on, and it did not feel super strong. But it, it's uh, it feels much stronger now that I've uh, plopped some points into it and specialized in it and stuff. Like it's it's starting to do the thing I wanted to do, which is murder. Okay, let's stand next to this rock and stare at swords. Health regen, fire damage, crit strike, chance, health resistance. Yeah, sure. Now, what are you walking over there for? We're trying to equip stuff, man. 19 plus 8 minus 3. I don't, I don't want to. All right. Eh. Let's go with that. Now, let's go over here. Okay, close that. Uh, da 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 da. Shield rush. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go there and uh, and what do we want? Skills, right? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Using hammer throw grants you a stack of zeal. Increases a damage by... Okay. I can't do that until I... Fill this one up, I guess, huh? Or perhaps both of these, really. Uh... We don't want slower hammers. We want... So is this going to go from 5 to 10 when I click on this? Or what is the... This seems like something where it could have another number on here. I assume it's just adding plus five, another plus 5, right? That's... Yeah. It could just say that. It could. Okay, so I'm looking at the difference here between Rive and Vengeance. A combo of three melee... Okay, wait. You stop channeling. So can I put that there? That's not a... Okay, that is not a skill slot. Apparently not. So Vengeance, you take 25% less damage. It does less damage. I feel like this basic attack here, or this this right trigger attack, is is not like it. I want it to face the enemy a little bit more um, automatically than it is. Like I pulled it right there and didn't do anything. Like the guy's right there, just start hitting him. Uh, 
Like from that close of a distance, it was just a little weird. I don't know. Sometimes it just feels ever so slightly finicky. Oh, it was a trap. Oh, okay. Well, I, uh... To inform someone at the Keeper's Camp. Let's go back and be like, hey, uh... Yeah, I, I thought that... Yes, so I'm saying that there is an, an auto move. I th I thought that I had turned that on, but... um, Yeah, move to melee attack enemies that are out of range. I do have that on. Show wolf helmets. This is, uh, okay. All right. Import a filter. Import a filter. Because users are going to create all the filters for you. Like, uh, just yeah, create a new filter. I don't know. What do we, sure, sure. This is a really neat system that feels like what if instead you just reworked the gear and items in your game so that people didn't have to do this. Like this is a really neat solution or a really neat system that like what if instead there was a what if instead you didn't have to do this, right? I mean like I, okay, if it's below this level but then if it's got this, I'm looking for this specific item. So what are the, like, yeah, man, this is a, a really interesting system that I, <laughs> oh boy. Or like, you know, what if, hey, what if, what if you, you got your items, like, instead of having to look for items that specific, the items that dropped that impacted those builds didn't take up inventory space, so you could just collect them. Like, like, with the crafting materials that just go into the forge. Like, what if it was just a system like that? Um... I accidentally did it before. There, okay. I was like, how do I open a portal? I cannot do that. Etera's blessing. Prayers be with you. Hmm. Can I just, 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 can we get to the shop part of the shop, man? Plus 10. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Plus 3 spell damage, 21. Like, am I better off just using the forging potential number as an indicator of if an item is good or not? Or at least as a starting point. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here's here's a thing. Fancy. Uh 
Uh, so this is plus 18. This is plus 10. And then plus 3 spell damage, which I don't know if that just means it's 13 or probably depends on your character, I'm guessing. A plus 20 two-hander and a plus 23 two-hander. So let's ditch that. Ah, fuck it. Let's just get rid of all of it. Have some hammers. Eat hot hammer. I like loot, but I'm not going to design a flow chart to make sure that the best loot comes my way. I'm just like, that's, that's, that is not something I'm, gonna, I'm not going to build a hot loot filter or go like, I got to get on the message board so I can copy to my, I can import this loot filter. Like that's, that's a really neat system for someone who is super not me. Mana, health, and dodge. I guess I can... Melee lightning damage. Plus six health on kill. We would lose the shield in that exchange, so maybe that's not a... Like, that's like, I, I wrote a little script like that uh, to sort uh, music files into their, their appropriate directories. Make sure that the flax are separate from the MP3s and so on and so forth. When they get tagged and renamed, the script automatically moves them into the proper directory and makes sure that they are named appropriately and all of that sort of stuff. Not looking to do that in a game. Not at all looking for looking to do that in a game. That's some hot 20 ciders over here. Come join my flaming club of hunger. Oh, you little vengeful siege engineer of haste. Hang on, let me stare at numbers here for a little bit. That one's got a, a little 
Okay. I can't use these yet. Requires level 19 and 20. I'm like level 7, 8 or something. Like, that's... So we've got, we got an 18 here. Plus 38 seems good. Oh, they're right, but I can't use it. Okay, all right. Deft leather gloves of evasion. Increased melee attack speed. All right, that sounds good. We're losing some health regen here, but... Let's go. Let's put that on there. Oh, that... Mm. Okay. Mm. Ah. All right. me when I see a guy. Ah! So dumb. Check and see if this is the way. It seems like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This it does curve up. Uh, let's spend our stuff here. I guess. Um, increase cooldown recovery speed for movement skills. Is there a way to any skill that has the movement tag? Okay. So let's look at skills. Minimum skill level increased. Dictates how many skills, points you're... Su <sighs> okay. <laughs> can, we, is there, can we put another button next to this that says, like, fucking what? Minimum skill level dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize in them and how many skill points will be retained when de-leveling a skill. I understand. So I'm guessing that means when I, if I take something out of here, it'll, I, if I remove a thing from the specialization list, it'll unspe, <laughs> minimum specialized level two. So that probably means if I drag it, it, it back in from the start, it'll start at two instead of one. I'm guessing that's what that means.
Uh, and then I hit level 10. So do I... Did I already... Okay, here's what we're... Okay, is this a movement skill? That's that was the question I had. Is Warpath a movement skill? It is. All right, now what was the menu that we were... That was the passives, right? So... Increased cooldown recovery speed for movement skills. Oh, but like I can spin almost... Like it doesn't have a cool a cooldown, really. So it's really more for that charge that I have that I don't really ever use. But that also doesn't have a very long cooldown either way, so so kinda whatever. Alright. Uh, we seem to be taking a little bit more damage from dudes, so maybe we need to throw a point into armor here. Maybe that would be a, a good idea. Suck these hammers. some more hammers here. I wasn't expecting when I uh, when I made this character that I would be doing any kind of ranged attacks at all. But this hammer has proved to be quite effective. And fun to use. It's no uh, Captain America's shield, if you will. But maybe there's an upgrade somewhere in that tree that makes it bounce around. That would be cool. I had a max level Captain America. I had so many fucking suits. I can still feel the flames. I had so many goddamn suits. Stealing my wing and my eye. Do I feel like I'm warming up to it? Um, yes and no. I feel like I am enjoying the core action a little bit more than I was. But also when I dig into it and see like the loot filter and some of the other stuff that they're thinking. Like, like, there's just, like, that aspect of the game. I'm just like, ah, okay. Like, th to me, that's, like, one of those red flags of, like, this is not for me. Like, if this is the sort of thing they're expecting players to be doing, then I... Then I should probably quit while I'm ahead. Hi, I'm here for the Epoch. Oh. Well, I... Uh, I'm not... That's not my name. Oh, shit. Okay, I see. Hey, can I? I'm gonna throw hammers. Okay. I would think you would fly way overhead and hit me with that if you got a flying dude. But if you want to hang, okay, yeah. See, I was figuring you would do something like that, and then I could throw hammers. dancing. <laughs> oh. Well, you're no fun. Ha <laughs> ha! 
See, like there, I pulled the right trigger to start doing that attack and it just didn't come out. It doesn't move in the direction to make it start happening. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Like, there's just something about the range of that specific ability that is... Like, it won't automatically close the gap. Maybe that's just a bug or something. I don't know. Suck hammer. Eat the hot hammer. Too heavy. Ugh. Eight percent increased cast speed. More of this minion damage. What do we have? Right. I'm finding myself not even using the like because you can hit control and compare here. Does it? I. I the thing I actually want is like, hey man, just automatically always hold down the alt key base. Yeah, auto compare items. All right, well, that'll be something, I guess. Dexterity, health regen, and health. Yeah, I'll take that over over that one. So, if only I could like mark it as junk, so I don't have to like every time I open my inventory, go, oh, what's new here? What am I, what am I looking at? Oh, I got another one of these. Is it better? Hmm. Gonna say nah. Gonna say nah. Increased necrotic damage. Well, look, man, I didn't, you know, I'm not playing this game to not get loot, so. <clears throat> I cannot do that. No, you're the prayers be with you. Oh, I see. Alright. Now we'll just shift sell all of this stuff, I guess. Dodge re eh, fuck it. Fuck all of it. Can we talk it out this time? It's 
So, okay, if the loot despawns every time you portal back to town, then what's the fucking point of having a town? Like, the whole point of the town portal was my inventory is full. I need to go back to town in order to clean out my inventory so that I can keep picking up shit, which is something you often run into in the middle of looting. And so when you if you load it back up, and other, which is the second time I think that's happened, so I'm assuming that is consistent and not necessarily a bug, but like the idea of, okay, your, your instance is going to fully reset and now there's just enemies here again. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is... Like, why is this... Why is any of this here? <laughs> why is any of this game here? I must remind myself to find suitable provision. Why does the map... Yeah, does the, does the full map reset? Oh, God. That's... The, that's this is stupid. Well, whatever. This is not why I play these. If if that is not the point of this, then this is not the game for me. Because this is I that, that's I'm not. Yeah, that's what a strange way to go. I don't know. He's back. He's been quiet since he returned. Go back. No, not for I have uh, well, we are. do you think going through the Try not to uh, no. I apologize. I only Lena. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you too. Yeah, I'm sorry too. This is what's best for us all. What Oh, okay. I'm just going somewhere else now. Oh, okay. We're in another chapter. Okay. Yes, my understanding is that there was some time travel involved. What is this place? Where did the Osprex go? I'll have to check my surroundings. Void maggot. Look me up on Fet Life. My username is Void Maggot. What? I want to have that, like, like whenever anyone sees my name, I'd like to have that written below. It explodes on death. I'm just here to talk to the guard. Can you, uh, you guys just back off a little bit? Uh, but yeah, I figured by the way that it seemed to show a, t uh, a a time, a year, every time you went into a zone, that there would be some kind of time travel-y something or other. This is a neat idea. It's the Sonic CD of action RPGs.
I, uh... Nah, we'll get to the... We'll get to all these people that are up here and then stop there, because I... feel like I'm kind of hitting my limit with this. I don't know. It's not bad, but I, I guess, like, a, as I'm kind of, like, figuring out the places where they're trying to deviate from the norm and the genre and, and, and some of their focus around, you know, whether it's crafting instead of just overall loot hoarding or just, like, the, but also you still are hoarding loot because you need loot to craft stuff and so build this filter system and do that, like, I, you know, eh. Like, the, the message I'm receiving is... Stop. Etero, watch over you. Gods. Who are you? Stand down or die. I guess let's if I zone here, then if I were to quit what I start in this zone instead of at the start of this zone and have to work my way through it again, because I don't want to do that. Alright. Okay. This looks like a let's look and see what they're selling. Oh, is there they're selling void maggots. <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay. A tiger. Cosmetic items are not available in offline mode. Why is is that? Okay, I mean, I guess, sure. Is it because if they allow any cosmetics to be equipped in offline mode, people will just hack offline mode to get free cosmetics? What a weird choice. What a weird choice. Oh, so it's like a different... It's a cosmetic town portal? Sure. Oh, and there are cosmetics for skills. Well, or there will be. Sure. I Yeah, all right. So it's 35 bucks. I don't know. That's a lot of cosmetics to be selling. But, um, you know, if we want to get into the action RPG cosmetics discussion, the Diablo 4 stuff is absolutely fucking rancid on that front. Uh... That's last epoch. Sixty dollar, yeah. This, it's a yeah, something like a sixty dollar horse, but also like as multiple seasons, like every season they put out another one. There's like another expensive Diablo bundle that launches with every season. So like they're, well, and I don't know. I it seems like a really really dumb thing to buy. <laughs> 
um, uh, this is just going to miss us too. That's a shame. Whatever. We wouldn't have time to set it up right now anyway. Uh, but the package with the game sent in it is, uh, getting close. So I will probably unbox it or something tonight or tomorrow. Maybe I'll just do a nighttime stream. Maybe that's a good way to, to do it. Cause I won't be able to, uh, I won't, will not be able to stream tomorrow. Let's look at John Cena. I think that someone should mod Mortal Kombat 1 uh, and mod out all of the lines that John Cena has in this game and um, replace it with some of his fucking astoundingly bad responses to Vince McMahon questions in that Howard Stern interview. Just like yank out all the Cena voice lines and just drop in all these other these Cena interview quotes. Where he just says like, I just love this man. I just love that man. Like, oh, jeez. John, I get it, but I like that this is, uh, I didn't, I didn't realize this, but the executable for this game is mk12.exe. Ah, I just love to get the shaders. I just love to get all these shaders. I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to get the shaders prepared. In case, in case I'm going to play it later. Um, yeah, if we're not, if we're not compiling shaders, what, you know, why, why are we here, man? It's one of the coolest things about the Steam Deck, one of the smartest things, and they can do it because it's, you know, every single configuration is the same. But, like, <clears throat> you can just download shaders from Steam instead of having to compile them. And I think that's a really slick concept that I wish that, you know, Steam seems capable of doing it for multiple graphics cards. I would think that, you know, maybe that's one of those things, like, if developers cared they would pre-compile shaders and upload them to Steam for all of these different graphics card configurations uh, so that players can just very quickly download them. Um, but instead, they just don't. Because, you know, hey, fuck it. We're already 40% done. And there are a lot of different graphics cards out there, so... Maybe Valve should set up something where they allow you to check a box on Steam and say, "Hey, yeah, you can you can have my shaders." Maybe that's a, maybe that's a dangerous precedent to set. But of just like, "Hey, uh upload my shaders after they're done compiling so that other people with similar configurations can um can benefit and if you're the first person to upload the shaders for that configuration they give you 100 steam points so you can buy a fucking hot emote is that how the linux version works huh. but sort of like they do with like community um controller configs and stuff like that just do like here you go hot shaders I assume that they are just pre-compiling the shaders on on Valve's end for Steam Deck games. And that that's what they're distributing, that it's not user-uploaded shaders. Of course, the danger with user-uploaded anything is that someone, you know, uploads a hot malware-infested shader somehow. Can we... I mean, shaders are... Shaders update. I mean, shaders update every time. You know, the reason we're doing this right now is because the game patched and I updated graphics card drivers. So 
I think one or the other will typically force um, shader regeneration. In most games. Is that what's the yeah, scene points are good for emotes and profile backgrounds and weird gunk like that. Um, some of that stuff's fun. I don't know. Like after I got at the steam deck and they're like, here's a trillion steam points because you just spent five, 700 bucks or whatever it was I'm like, Oh, okay. Um, I went and looked, you can buy uh different keyboard skins for the steam deck with those points. And, uh, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> so I don't know. It's another one of those valve systems where you look at it and go like, okay. And then like, they never touch it again. And you're like, all right. Like some people end up getting way into it. And then some people just forget it exists like the, the trading card stuff. I'm sure that there are still some people that are deep, deep, deep up in the trading card game. And they have high level profiles and they can have so many steam friends. They can have so many more, uh, weird trays on their profile showing off their rare achievements. And yeah, boot videos. You can, I mean, you can just make your own boot video and upload it to the Steam Deck if you want, but they, they did add that to the system. Oh, thank God. Thank God I'm connected. Link my account to them. I was wondering when they were going to add like, hey man, play the mobile game and you'll get something. That makes sense. This fucking guy. When is Zavlov being added to the game? Uh, I think they're saving him for multiverses. I have not really played much of this game since uh, this, uh, what is this, Omni-Man? Omni-Man. I think I loaded it up and messed with Omni-Man for a couple of seconds and went like, eh. Peacemaker. Booyah! Omni-Man. <laughs> Striker. Tremor. Fortress. Are we here? What are we? Okay. His <laughs> low is just shoot a gun. Okay. I didn't know that I needed another fighting game with someone saying Sonic Boom in it, and I did also didn't know that I needed that person to be John Cena, but here we are. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! He should have a flash kick, too. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! So you can e-exit for three shots. 
podcast that's eagerly his eagle. I don't I haven't, I haven't seen the show. But I assume that that's a thing from from the thing, right? Uh Anything else? Enhanced human torpedo. Activate anti-gravity soft landing. It's a gravity. It's a gravity. It's a gravity. Torpedo. What was that? What did he blow out of his beautiful bird bullet? Was that just forward and Okay, so we've got low eagle, high eagle. This is real stupid. Well, like, that's the, that's, it, it, I, my understanding is that that is what he does, but that is what John Cena does in the show, is when he does moves, he says the name of them, right? So that's, like, the character, right? That was what I was led to believe. I don't know. Apparently he has a shield. Yeah, the line reads don't seem awesome. So I guess the eagle has to recharge, right? Is there some kind of... It's weird that he'll do the, the jumps. Uh, even if the eagle isn't ready, he'll still do the... I don't know. Let's try to actually fight with him. Peacemaker. Striker. Let's just do it on easy. Fuck around here. A little stuttery on the menu here, huh? Shujinko. What the hell's your story? Yikes. No one's told you about Tarkatans. So Peacemaker sucks, is what I'm being led to believe here. Like, that's his thing. Having trouble getting stuff to flow. 
called Baraka a dickweed. I it's I it I I do think it's really funny that that he has a move called Sonic Boom. It's a shame that it's not just a fucking Sonic Boom. Or maybe that wouldn't fit for the character. I don't know. All right, what do we got here? Uh, down, forward, down, circle. What range? Do we have any kind of mid? All right. Finish. Wait, was it down, forward, down? Sorry, fuck. What the fuck? What? Little shit. Fatality. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. That's from the show? Okay. Yeah, that's... Smoke. Sector. I like it when they take opportunities to remind you that it's an M-rated game, but in a different way. The game's not real heavy on so cursing. If I say activate human Shut up, smoke. Jesus. What the hell? Round one. Fight. Sonic. Sonic. Motherfucker. Round two. Fight. I think there's a, a right way and a wrong way to curse. And I I I gotta say I like it. His body looks weird. Like his head looks like it's big head mode John Cena or something. Right? I mean, there's just something weird about this. Something weird about this. Where they were like, we want people to, we want to make sure that people know that it's John Cena. So let's make the head a little bit bigger. Yeah, I don't know. There's some. I mean, yeah, I mean, also, I guess John Cena is just sometimes kind of a weird looking dude. Reptile. Darius. The Terrans aren't a threat. Yes, you are. You're lizard people. Jesus. What the hell? It just keeps happening. <laughs> Well, I mean, he would have a second fatality, right? But like, uh, do I have to, I forget. Well, let's try this other, uh, brutality, I suppose. Down, down, down during hit. Final hit must come from red and blue angel. And then, and then finish with a throw. 
Is Red and Blue Angel just the name of the throw? Let's go look. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Cena definitely looks smaller uh, now that he's not, you know, wrestling full time. Which uh, probably makes sense. I mean, Center mass. probably lets him be a little uh, up for more roles, I guess. But yeah, he's not like wrestler bodybuilder big anymore. He's like, there we go. Okay. Eat peace, motherfucker. Yeah, sure. I should probably watch this show. I feel like that's the message I'm receiving from this. Is as someone who thinks it's kind of funny when John Cena says dumb shit like that. I'm like, hmm, hmm, maybe, you know, maybe I should check this out. to seek your friendship. That's better than pissing away my time. Jesus! What the hell? Round one, fight. I don't know that there was any, uh, I don't know that they did any kind of like, uh, what the, the press for this was. I don't know that they ever, you know, John Cena speaks about becoming a Mortal Kombat character, but I feel like that's the sort of thing that he would probably be way into. Center mass. Round two. Fight. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. What does this do? Okay. But yeah, he, I mean, you know, presumably he's got a second fatality, but it's... I forget, what, do I have to level him up before it shows up in the move list? Is that what it is? I, for, I forget how they handled it. Finish him. What the fuck? Uh, winter finisher is the seasonal fatality. It is what? not the little shit. It is not uh, his first fatality. Wins. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like if you level up, it eventually adds it to the move list, but you can just do it. That's I think that's what it is. So I probably just need to look it up. Peacemaker, striker. Face it, this is happening. Or maybe you're a bong-induced hallucination. Jesus! What the hell? <laughs> Suck on that! Round one, fight. Force field, eagles, torpedo. Oh. Alright, well, let's, assuming we win this fight, let's look up, uh, see if we can figure out the input for that other fatality. Uh, Peacemaker, second fatality. Oh, I don't want a fucking video guide.
oh my god it's just like a series of videos showing them all and like i don't i don't want that that's not telling me how to do them it's like ugh. forward back forward back two from medium range all right. And then he just makes poop noises. All right. I don't know. Yeah. Some of it's a bit much, but... But all right. But all right. Like, I don't know, you know, I feel like all the DLC characters, especially the guest characters, there's always like a, um, I don't want to play as these characters on a regular basis because I don't think that they're super fun Mortal Kombat characters. Better that than be an evil douchebag. But like, they make for good trailers. Like there's stuff in there that you want to see and go like, oh, look at that. Robocop did the thing. And you're like, neat. Um... But like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't... I can't think of a DLC character that's been in an MK game that I've been like, oh, I'm gonna start playing as this character all the time. Especially the guest characters. It's more just like, how did they translate this guest character in there? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Robocop does that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. They did that. And then you see that a couple of times and you go like, all right, I'm going to go back to playing the good characters or the fun characters. Round two. Fight. Go, Striker, go! Give it to that stupid wizard.
Project Starfish? Project Butterfly? Crazy Town. Both of them. But neither was as fucked up as Project Magician. I was way over my head with Eclipse. I mean, the dude's a goddamn god. Somehow, though, I got his back to the wall. Freaked him out so bad, he cast a spell that sent me here. I guess he thought sending me here would finish me? But I tell you, I feel like I've come home. This place needs peace. Bad. And like me, folks here will do whatever it takes to get it. So bring on Xiao, Reiko, and those dickhead sorcerers. I'll drop them all first chance I get. Yeah, line reads maybe a little weird. Yeah, a little, uh... Like, especially on the special moves, I think some of that stuff is maybe a little flat in spots. And I don't know if that's... If that's something that is a, a, a feature of the Peacemaker character. Or not. Because I, I haven't seen the show, but... Um... I don't know. That seems all right. Like I said, like that's that might be all the <laughs> peacemaker I ever play uh, because I just don't know that I'm like feeling his special moves and feeling the the combos. I mean, you know, for what little time I spent with it, but like I don't know. I play as Scorpion because I like the way the the normals flow into the specials, the way the the stuff like the, there are characters where that stuff feels like it's easy to, for me and it flows naturally and there are characters where it feels like ah, i'm just i'm not getting anything going it's just here's this one punch here's this, like i gotta figure out what you know and i gotta spend more time learning it um but i've already got four or five characters i would rather play as that i'm not currently playing as so john cena at the back of the line baby um Cool. Well, that's going to do it for me here today. Thanks for hanging out. A series of video games were played. And I'll be back on Friday to play another series of video games, but this time they will be old and we will rank them. We've got to get, uh, we got 200 games on the list. We got to get to 300 though. And then, you know, 400 and so on and so forth. So everyone have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. And I will see you soon. Bye.